when I think about Ukraine, I can't but help uh, think about Afghanistan and how that issue has completely dropped off the radar. Uh, Shudder to think about what's happening there and how much help is required and whether that help is being provided to, to, to women and children uh, in the region under the Taliban. Well, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because I think you're exactly right. It is the Taliban's hope that women will become invisible and to the extent they're not on the front pages or uh, part of the social media expressions, uh, that is going to increasingly be the, the case. But terrible reality is continuing there after 20 years of enormous progress. Uh, and one of the top priorities is obviously to push women back. Uh, this is the month in which girls go back to school. There's no real indication that they will be going back to school because the Taliban insist on female teachers. There are very few of them comparatively. Uh, they have an expression uh, in, in which they've hijacked Islam to say that under Islam, there is incompatibility uh, between uh, rights for women and, and, and their view of religion, a radical interpretation mm -hmm. that no other predominantly Muslim country holds. So uh, that well, and, and pensions, imprisonments, et cetera, it's a very, very bad human rights situation today. Ambassador, you say no other Muslim country holds, but actually the reality is that in countries like Saudi Arabia and the UAE, uh, we have situations where women face conditions which we would ordinarily consider to be unacceptable, but the pressure on countries that are allies appears not to be as strong as countries where we see political differences. Should the West be putting more pressure on its own allies first? Well, I think we have been putting that pressure on. I know in my time as ambassador... It's something that was raised repeatedly, but I think uh, while you still have enormous problems in those countries, you also have more gradual change in the right direction. Uh, and the sad thing about Afghanistan is there was enormous progress uh, from the time when the Taliban were first overthrown uh, and uh, 20 years later now when they've come back to power. Uh, the women don't want to be pushed back. They've made enormous progress. It is in many ways a different country. Uh, but what we're seeing today is just the opposite. We're seeing uh, increased uh, inability to work, uh, increased humanitarian crises of one kind or another, uh, the ability not to go to school, detentions, imprisonments for demonstrating, uh, censorship of the media, et cetera.